slide it right out. Okay. Slide it up there with that thumb shift. Now, I can bend this back right here. So we don't have to do this with all of it. This is your burn chamber. We'll wiggle this out of here. That little screw that came out, I'm just going to stick it right back up in here so I know where it's at when I go to stick this son of a bitch back in. This is your igniter wire. This is your little burner right here. Get a good look at it. Set this over there with that other stuff. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and pull these two screws right here. Now, the only thing holding this guy in is this screw right here. Okay. Now, you're going to learn something later on. You're better off using a handheld screwdriver than a power drill. It comes in handy on some of this stuff, but when you strip one of them sons of bitches, now you're fucked. That simple. Now this guy, because of this little fucking metal here, So now we've got that set hanging on, on the side. Just for shits and giggles, I'm just going to put these guys back in here because you guys aren't going to remember that. This thing here, that can that pretty much stay put. That's a sensor? That is a form of a sensor, yeah. Now, we've got our heating element we've got to deal with. Follow those two wires and unplug them off the board. Sure. Down here. Yeah. Always be gentle and don't wiggle. You want to pull up. You'll break those tabs if you wiggle. If you're going to wiggle, th wiggle this way. Don't wiggle this way. Take that heating element up. You just want to loosen that up yeah. enough. Okay, so we're not get, taking this off. So you can get it slack. Is. Well, you know what? It won't hurt. They twisted that so there wouldn't be no slack around, right? That's the way they had them like that. I'm just trying to give myself slack to get that out. Okay, so now. Our heating element is guarded by this little door and this little flap. You can take the screwdriver, stick it in here, and flip that up, pop your door, push it up, and out comes the whole door. This, all of this stuff will cut you. Mm -hmm. well, that's you're bleeding with the stuff too. Come in from the other side so you don't you gotta quit using your fingers. Okay, can you compress this tube and make that little thing flip out of there? I did it last time. I didn't bend that thing last time I changed it. Okay, now, this little door has two notches. One's the deep side, one's the shallow side. See how shallow that is? Mm -hmm. See how deep that is? That will allow you to go all the way up and then lock it into place. Okay. Put that over there. Now, heating elements can rupture, expand so much, or rust so bad that you can't even wiggle the sons of bitches. Okay. But since that's not the case here, now all I'm going to do is start pulling this up. But before I take it out, come around this side over here, valley. Yes, sir. And see where it's inserted? Okay. And they usually put two of those because if one ruptures and you can't get it out, you can always use the other hole. And we'll find that other one here or see it on the other cooling unit. Remember, I've left almost everything attached, so I don't have to fucking okay. put it all back together. And that's how I managed to save a lot of time doing this. Okay. Bring my, my heating element back around. Save myself 
tearing the whole thing apart. What have I got left holding this board in place? One wire is my positive, and that communicates with my eyebrow, and that's this one here. Well. So. You got to take off the okay. ground. I don't take that off. I just cut this right here and then use a butt connector. Okay. Give yourself plenty on each on each side. You're gonna move these wires aside. These were the harness. That's, okay. That's the thermistor wire. That's the one that you know reads the temperature inside. Okay. That goes to communicate with the or send power to the eyebrow. To the eyebrow. And what was this one again? The thermostat. Yeah, thermistor. And then this one is the one that communicates with that and this. Okay. okay. So now we're ready to remove this with that whole cluster of shit that we would pull. So pull this screw and this screw. Okay. That one stays. Now look, get it past that little tab. All of the electronics are right there. The two little screws you pulled, wherever they're going to be there to remind you where they go. So right now we've gutted this on the electrical side. All right. You pinch these guys, you're not going to get them back in once you get your cooling unit in place. It's going to wreak havoc on you. So, we're just going to move, wiggle these guys up and out of the way. That's just the fill cap that goes right there. The closer you are to here, the easier it is to pull your wires out because you got more room here than you do along here. Okay, the thermistor wire. The one that's inside that you can slide up and down on the fence goes in right here. This guy goes to my eyebrow. This guy, they've got it going. This is a different style of refrigerator. This is the newer one, so they're running it in a little different. So we'll leave that fucker alone. They're running it through the skin instead of externally. At this point, we're pretty much ready to pull our cooling unit. So you got your four corner screws, which you're going to remove now. When you're doing this on the floor, when you're doing this on the floor, and you step on that, you fucked it up. All right. Always be aware of everything around you, especially when you're doing it. Valley, you didn't cut this right here. 